Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. Uh, been a little bit, took a couple days off, uh, wasn't feeling well, still not feeling great. Kind of felt like I got run over by a truck. Uh, turns out it's a sinus infection. Always fun. Uh, I'm sure you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm still very congested and whatnot, but I'm here and I am driving home from work and there was something I really wanted to talk about and... <laughs> So now I know I'm a little bit late to the party, uh, unfortunately, because of being under the weather, Uh, but I still wanted to talk about it anyway, because I think it's a really big deal, Um, and that is the announcement by Shonen Jump that they're changing the way they're doing stuff, and now if you use the website or their app, starting um, December 17th, I believe it is... They are going to put every new chapter of manga that comes out, they're going to put it out same day as in Japan, in English, and it's going to be free to read. So you're talking free manga the same day it releases in Japan, new chapters. Then, even better than that, at least from my perspective they are going to have a membership where if you pay a dollar 99 a month a dollar 99 a month and it's 24 dollars a year you can get access to their entire back catalog which will all be available their entire english back catalog which they say is like 10,000 episodes of different manga. Um, That's insane, dude. Do you realize how many comic books that is that you can read? And it's for $2 a month. I mean, Shonen Jump, when it first came out here in the States, um, I was a big fan of it, actually. I was a subscriber right from the get-go. I think... I had bought the first issue, or like maybe the first two issues on newsstands, and then after that, I subscribed because I was in it. Like I was down for it. I was really like, I was enjoying it. It was cool. It was every month, you got this giant magazine, you know, this giant book, with like five different stories in it, and you could follow all the stories, and they were good, and they had great art, and they were fun, and they were exciting, and it was really cool. Like so, I subscribed for a while. For for a few years, I was a subscriber. Um, And then eventually, like, you know, certain, like, other things, like, eventually, like, you know, time and life and whatever, like, you know, I drifted away from it or, you know, the money or whatever it was. Um, I can't really put my finger on any one particular thing why I stopped subscribing. Um, But I did, and that's fine. And I let it go for, for quite a while. And now that they've launched this idea of this new service I am back in wholeheartedly I can't wait like dude I am 100% going to start to sign up for this for two bucks a month that's $24 a year dude two dollars for a month you can have access to as many of these things as you can read like that's incredible to me I can go back and I can catch up and finish the ones that I was reading back in the day, things like One Piece and Naruto and uh, what else was I reading back then? Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho I think was in there and uh, Bleach (laughs) things like that like that, um, oh and uh, Shaman King, which I loved Shaman King Uh, One Piece and Shaman King were probably my favorites back then Um, and they had Dragon Ball Z in there of course which I had already known all the stories because I had seen the show but it was still fun to read it anyway. Um, and to see how closely the show, you know, held to the uh, the manga. Um, but now, like, that's, like, awesome. I can go back. I can start from the beginning again and refresh my memory and then catch up to where I left off those many years ago and then keep going and finish the series. How cool is that? And if it's a series that's still going or that has sequels, like something like Naruto, which has sequel series after that like I could read Naruto from the beginning finish it and then 
pick up on the next one and do that, and then pick up on on right now they're they're on Baruto, um, and the new chapters for that are coming out day and date. So like if you catch up and then you're there, you're good to go. Like I just don't see like a downside to this. This is like a huge, huge opportunity. And it's a way better deal, I feel like, than something like Marvel Unlimited even, where like Marvel Unlimited is much more expensive. And it also, you don't get the new issues. Marvel Unlimited is always like six to eight months behind on the new issues. Now, Honestly, I've stopped buying and reading Marvel at this point. Um, But if you're still into it, or even if you just want the back catalog, like, you know, that's something that might be interesting to you. But the fact that, like, they literally are charging so much more and they don't even have the new issues when they come out, like, that'd be frustrating to me if I was somebody who like spent all that money and that's why I never did it I thought about it back in the day when it first launched I thought that oh this would be a cool thing maybe to ask for as like a Christmas gift or something like that but honestly it's just it's not worth it um but this this Shonen Jump subscription I am all about it like I've already now it's funny because I was out of the comic book game for quite a while um and I've told this story before how I was in it like whole hog and buying books like crazy and everything else and then stepped away for a long while and this though is like I now I did the the uh the Alterna Comics 2019 subscription I'm getting that that's like a Christmas gift I'm getting and I did a whole video about how that I think that's a fantastic deal and how I think it's a great uh Christmas gift as well Um, and that's like 60 something books or it might even be more than that I forget now how many books it is but it's a ton of books for the whole year you get everything that Alterna puts out for the entire year shipped directly to your house so you don't even have to go to the store and get it and you get it all and you get it at a great price Um, and now this Shonen Jump doing this I'm like dude I'm this is like do you have any idea like how much reading this is now like that you can have that and I also have Comixology Unlimited and I've started to do videos about the things that I'm finding on there and I've already read some stuff on there you know using Unlimited that you know I, I you pay the the fee for it but like that's not a bad fee either for the amount of stuff that they have in their back catalog for you to read um, especially if you're into like indie books and stuff, um, they do sometimes, you know, kind of get you with like, oh, we have the first two volumes as unlimited and then the rest of it is not, you know, but whatever, I get it. They, they need to make money. It's fine. Um, but this, that what Shonen Jump is doing is just unreal. Like, first of all, even if you don't subscribe, if you just want to jump in, in the middle of a story somewhere you can literally just go to their website or on their app and read the new chapters as they come out and you could never pay a dime and just do that if you do subscribe you can get the entire back catalog and it's going to cost you two dollars a month to get that whole back catalog of ten thousand chapters of manga that's insane that's a i mean i hope whatever this this means for uh shonen jump here in america i hope that this is something that's profitable for them because it i, I mean honestly it, it, i don't know it doesn't seem like it would be a very profitable model but i'm sure it must be or why would they be doing this um and honestly this is quite frankly manga has been kicking the butt of american uh comics for quite a while now especially when you're talking about superhero comics and this honestly is just gonna to you know from my you know in my point of view um from my opinion this is just gonna absolutely help them explode honestly like kids are all about their tablets and 
their phones and all that stuff and they're reading a ton of stuff on that on those devices they're also pirating a ton of stuff on those devices so now here's an option a really cheap option <laughs> to the point where it's free if you're already caught up and you're just wanting to read the current stuff if you're a kid who's like all caught up and you're reading like one particular series and they're still coming out with new chapters like dude you're already there just it's free just hop on the website on your on your or download the app on your phone or your tablet and just read it there for free and if you're somebody who's like well i'd like to read some of these other ones you know and this is a as provided of course listen it has to be a good reading experience now i have not used their app to read anything yet um so i don't know if it's a a good reading experience but if it is a good reading experience on the tablet and it's safe there's no viruses there's no malware there's not going to be like crazy ads all over the place like you get on pirate sites you know things that can happen from pirating books or downloading torrents or whatever and you can get viruses and you know all kinds of nasty stuff on your computer or what have you um or visiting different pirate sites that post scans and then you know um maybe they're missing like you know certain this won't be missing any issues all the issues will be there and you can read the complete story for you know legally and hopefully with a really good reading experience i'm hoping that the the reading experience is a good one um and that's incredible like you're talking about a fantastic fantastic deal um if they can deliver on a good reading experience they're already delivering on the content front i mean it's a ton of content and they're delivering on the pricing front two nine you know a dollar 99 a month is insane um if they can deliver on the ease of use for the app and and the reading experience and they've already said you can either stream them right on the device like if you're if you're at home and you're connected like you don't have to bother downloading it you can just read it or if you're going to be on the road or whatever, you can download chapters up to 100 a day. So you could download 100 chapters a day and then read them when you're on the go. So if you have like a commute every day or you're on a train or something, or if you're going on a long flight on a plane, you can download tons of chapters to read. And I mean, that's really, I just, I can't get over it. I think it's such a, a fantastic, fantastic deal um, that, and and really Shonen Jump is known for the kind of manga that most comic book readers would like. It's the action stuff. It's the action adventure stuff. That's what they, that's what Shonen Jump is all about. It's about action, adventure, fighting, you know, crazy powers, you know, stuff like that. Like that's what Shonen Jump's all about. You know, you're not going to have, like, any weird, like, romance books or, or anything like that. Like, it's all about action-adventure books. That's what that's what that, that's what that is all about. That's what that brand means. Um, so I just think it's a, a fantastic, fantastic deal that they're doing. And I really can't wait to get started and, and go back. And honestly, between my Alterna subscription for the year and now this, I may not ever have to... And I know this is going to upset some people... But honestly, I may not have to ever go back to a comic book store again. Because I can get, like, these insanely awesome quality books from independent creators on Indiegogo and crowdfunding sites. I can get... Um, I'm gonna get every book that's published by Alterna Comics next year, who I really like their stuff... And that's a good variety of stuff as well. And I can read everything that Shonen Jump has had in English since they've been in English. Like, in all honesty, if I'm just trying to read comic books, and plus I've got my Comixology Unlimited subscription where I can find stuff on there to read. Like right now I'm still reading the Fathom Omnibus number one, and I've got number two waiting. That, that was also on Unlimited, so I'm waiting to read... Uh, the omnibus number two as well um, I read the aliens omnibus I've downloaded the predator omnibus from dark horse like uh, you know I've got so many books to read that honestly I don't even need to go to the store 
And, you know, if you're not going to spend the money on, let's say, you know, let's say you don't have a lot of money to spend on these crowdfunded books, because the crowdfunded books can be pretty expensive. I'll give you that for sure. Um, I do think they're going to be incredible, so I think they're worth the money. Um, But I also think if you're somebody who maybe doesn't have a ton of money, that these other companies like Alterna, their books are a buck fifty an issue, and now Shonen Jump, a dollar ninety nine a month gets you access to everything they've ever put out in English. Like, you don't have to have a lot of money now to be into comic books. You just have to be willing to not be sucked into the thought process of I only can buy Marvel and DC books. That's the key. Because Marvel and DC, they're going to charge you 4 to $5 or more an issue. And that's too much for a kid to spend. Kids don't have that kind of money laying around to spend that. They just don't. And so companies like Alterna are seeing that. Companies like Shonen Jump are seeing that. And they're making this work. You know, they're understanding that honestly most kids are just going to pirate comic books if they can't afford them. And so they're trying to make them as cheap as possible and make them as easy to get. And for people like myself who are longtime uh, hobbyists, comic book readers, like, I, if I want the big name creators and the really, like, you know, the glossy paper and the amazing art and the big... I can go to crowdfunding for that. And, yeah, it's a lot of money. Um but I'm paying for quality there and I don't mind doing that because it's something special and then at the same time for my and those only come out every so often but in the meantime for my day to day month to month fix I've got my Alterna subscription and now I'll have my Shonen Jump I mean I don't see where you can go wrong with this I really don't as a comic book reader if you're willing to step away from the big two and all the, the, the garbage that they've been putting out and doing to the characters we love and the way they've been treating the fans and everything else, there are alternatives out there that will actually save you money and get you a ton of awesome content to read. You may never look back. A lot of people may never look back. And honestly, a lot of kids may never look to Marvel or DC in the first place. They'll watch the movies, but they're not buying the comic books for five bucks an issue every month. But you know what they might do? They might get their parents to spend $2 a month for a subscription to Shonen Jump, so they've got access to everything, plus the new stuff that keeps coming out. They might get their parents to get them to spend, you know, uh, whatever it was, like, I forgot how much it was for the, um, the Alterna subscription for the year. That's a great gift and it lasts the whole year round and then they can get it again next year and the year after and the year after they can just keep going. I used to get gifts like that when I was a kid where it was like, you got something and you got it every year. And these kids, why would they ever go into a comic book store and look to buy the newest issue of Iron Man or something? where they're going to spend 4 to $5 an issue or more if it's a landmark issue and have cruddy stories with characters that aren't even the characters they want to see when they can just wait and just watch the movies instead. Um, I just, to me, I, I see this is, this is the stuff that Marvel and DC need to be worried about. This is what they need to really worry about is not so much... They're losing people like me, yes. They've, they've pretty much already lost me at this point, unless they do something amazingly drastic. But you know what they're also not doing? They're not gaining the new generation of kids. They have yet to figure out how to reach these kids, and these kids are not going to comic book stores. They're just not. And they're not spending this kind of money on comic books, and so as a consequence, they're just not reading comic books. So anyway... <laughs> Let me know what you think about this video. I'm going to go home and, and have a cough drop or something because I can feel my voice going away. Um, so that's it. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about this whole Shonen Jump thing. I think it's amazing. Let me know if you agree with me or not. 
Uh, maybe you're somebody who's never read manga before. Is this something that would get you to read manga? Um, you know, I don't know. Let's let me know. Tell me what you think. Have you given up on the mainstream, you know, Marvel and DC? And are you looking for alternatives now like I am? Um, let me know. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I'm on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. Um, you can follow me there. Um, hit the, uh, the thumbs up. Give it a like. Hit the subscribe. Uh, jingle that bell for notifications. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. The holidays are here. Um, everybody enjoy your holiday season and I will talk to you soon again. All right. This is provided I don't lose my voice now, Um, but that's it. I'm out. Peace out.